What's up guys, it's Mr. Gamer 9 percent Huge Gaming, and now we figured out... No, I didn't want to call the elevator. Anyway, we're going to go talk to Mike Bishop. Last door on the right. That's 801. Okay. Um, this must be it. 804. Ah. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come Holy. in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just... just look at this mess! Just we'll looks like, like they trashed the one corner of the room. We'll take a moment to gather your thoughts. A and then that I, book I over there. Thank you, officer. Wait. A vase. Circumstantial. No importance. Oh, wait. Something there. A statue. Not sure this means much. Anything in... Oh! What is this? I don't think this is going to help us. Yeah, no. These are all sundries. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Well, might as well check everything. Or I'm going to be running around. Looking for stuff to do. I don't think this is anything. You don't think... I don't understand. Why? Well, can I open this? Oh, no, oh, it's a check? For 20000 The have to do to earn $20,000. That is quite a large sum. Junk. Great. I love to hear that there's nothing. Oh, it's this. Who's oh, it's a Bible. Case? What? What? Gay Cowboys to Mark tomorrow. Bishop. So that's a nice looking saddle. Half a dollar bill? Maybe. No. Okay, it's a money clip. I was gonna say, who would rip a dollar in half? Looks like the old movie set downtown. Ooh. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff in here. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Oh yeah, I can choose now? Oh wow. Incidental. There is so much in this place. Probably nothing. Uh, well ha- what, 60% of the stuff, nothing? Kitchen. Hmm. Which utensil? And let me guess, they both have no importance. Yep. Seems irrelevant. Come on. Next, they're gonna be wanting me to search their toilet paper. Optimistic call.
looks like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. What are these men in the picture? Yeah, that prop store that I was talking about My before. Mark and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Balcony. Nothing there. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Okay, I'm getting no rumbling and the music's dying out. Which I'm guessing means that, yeah, we are out of clues. But that's good. Okay. The disturbance. Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Can't quite tell if it's truth or doubt. I don't want to get wrong. I have one intuition point left. Doubt. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Three more. Whereabouts? Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Either we find him, or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. Close if one. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. The check. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Yes. It's a lot of money, Mrs. Bishop. Doesn't Dang, it I got it wrong. Unusual? Perhaps. Movies are expensive to make. She knew something. You'd be surprised what expenses get hidden in the budget and how the money gets... Can I go around. back? Dang. Oh, well. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. God. The girl is named Jessica Hamilton. She was drugged. You should tell me what you know, God. Mr. Bishop. My husband is no saint, Detective. He's going to have to atone for his own sins. Dang it. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Well, I got a new outfit, so for two, for two out of four, for suit is good. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one two four seven. I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks, ma'am. All right. Let us go. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a movie producer's wife. Finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Uh, 
I'm sure that they have told me knows more than she's to use a notebook. He doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband showed up is before. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average kid and draw with nothing between the well, She might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. Fine. Oh, side sidetrack once again. Can I turn the radio off? No. Anywhere? Outfits. Ooh, oh, okay. Options. Sound. Dang. Oh, whatever. I'm sure that crime is over by now, but in this game, apparently it takes very, very, very long. Or, no, wait, no, crime doesn't even happen. Watch it! Crime doesn't even happen unless it's random. Or it happens before I get there for like a regular story crime, but if it's a street crime, it only starts really when, it, when I get there. Which is odd. You're the one who's been sending cosmic rays into my room. I'll show you. Yes, sir. You're not going to control my thoughts anymore. Just calm what? down, sir. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't want to brawl this guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Running is fine. Give it up, LAPD. He went that away. Oh, shit. He went that away. And I went in the store. I'm going to fail this shit. Ew. Did he just stop for me or what? Yep, he did. He stopped for me. What criminal stops for a police officer? Why did he just stop there and taunt me? Taunt. And why did he stop there and taunt me? Yeah. Don't make me chase you. He better. Are you serious? You don't understand. Oh! Ow! You jerk! You kicked me off a pipe. Son of a... You wanna fight? Cruel world! Whoa! I mean, you said farewell, cruel world, but I thought that was like a joke, like from like a play. Farewell, cruel world! William Shatner. Oh, oh my hat! No! Hat costs a lot, in case you didn't know. But now we have no idea what he did, or what his motivation was, or any of that. Anyway, that's all the time I have today. When we come back, we're gonna go to that, that, uh, set. Looking for the right word. We're gonna go to that set and question some people there, and see what's up. This has been Mystic 9 from Centrifuge Gaming, and I'll be back.